All right, angles working, focus, yes. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Tuesday. On this Trans Tuesday, I am very excited to be talking to you guys about binding and safe binding and the importance of binding and all of that good stuff. A little disclaimer here at the beginning, everything that I am saying is from my personal experience only. Also research that I have done, but you will have to look into stuff yourself to find the way you react to things and the way things work for you. So this is just based off of my personal experience, so please make sure to remember that. The first thing I want to talk about is binding safely. You can not use things like duct tape or an ace bandage to bind. And I know to some of you that sounds ridiculous, like why would you ever? But I know that this is something that a lot of people with breasts do when they want to bind their chest. They use like duct tape, ace bandages. It's not safe, even for like one day. It's not safe. You can cause so much damage to your body. And I bound like that for years and it did so much damage and you really want to be safe about it. You cannot have it because it will hurt your body so much. And I know what it's like to want to bind so badly that you use those kind of methods but honestly it's going to affect your health in the long run and it's not worth it not only does it cause trouble breathing but it can also cause you to puncture a lung or crack one of your ribs because ace bandages and duct tape are designed to like hold down and like stay still so ace bandages are meant to like constrict so they're not made to like go with your breathing pattern so they'll just squeeze tighter and tighter and it's very very dangerous so please right off the bat do not use an ace bandage do not use duct tape if you don't have options to get anything else i'm very sorry but you cannot use these methods they are so 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 dangerous so please make sure you put yourself first and think about your health First, it's so important that you do not do those things. Now on to actually binding. My first suggestion is to measure yourself before you order a binder. The sizing is going to be different for different companies and it's also going to be different from like a t-shirt size. So you could be like a small t-shirt but a medium bind and so on and so forth. So you wanna make sure that you are measuring properly so you get the right fit and it's not too tight because that can also cause damage. And it can be super uncomfortable if you get the wrong size or it won't bind as well if you get a size that's too big so make sure you take a tape measure and measure yourself properly and all the areas that it says to measure on the website and you can go and see the different styles and sizes of the binds so you want to make sure you are purchasing the right size so measuring is really important second thing is to research the different styles. there are a lot of different styles of binders out there and you want to make sure you go and try the ones that you think will work best for you over the years in my life I have tried so many different binders and within the past year and a half I found a certain type that works really 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 well for me personally and it took years to find it so don't be afraid to try out different kinds of binders the first kind of binder you order might not work for you and that's okay you can always send it back and usually the company will pay for your shipping of the binder back if you are returning it so it's not really a big of a deal different things work for different people so don't be discouraged if some other trans friends of yours have been talking talking to you about a certain kind of binder that's amazing and then you order it and it doesn't work for you, that's totally okay because we're all different individuals. Different things work for different people. You're going to want to research the different kinds of binders that you're looking at and look at the pros and cons of them that people have reviewed them and look and see what the difference is between that and another binder and you're just going to want to compare and make your own judgment. There are only two companies I would recommend getting a binder from and that is because getting these like Chinese binders off Amazon or eBay are so so dangerous because it's just like the ace bandage and duct tape It is not safe because those are not made for long-term wear and use so please make sure to not order those. The only two companies I would recommend ordering from are Underworks and GC2B. I will link both of the stores in the description of this video, but those two companies are amazing and their binders are designed for trans people and they're designed to like bind down, press down the chest and all of that good stuff without damaging your health. I have four binders that are all one specific style and it's an underwork style that works really well for me. This is what the binder looks like. It has clasps up the front so you can clasp it up and do all of that good stuff with it. And it goes on just like a vest and then after you pop out of the shower or whatever, you just hook it up like this and you're ready to wear. 
I found that this style of binder works really well for me because as a bigger guy it also binds my hips which is really nice and when I get out of the shower it's not a pain in the ass to get on when your body is still a little bit damp especially because it comes completely apart in the front and you can just slip it over like a vest. So I actually have four of these binders. I am wearing one of them right now and they work really well for me and I've had them for about a year and a half and they're still holding up. So these are actually post-surgical compression binds in the men's section of Underworks but they work really well as chest binders for a trans guy and if you are a bigger trans guy I definitely recommend these if you want some control area for your hips as well. Another binder I have is from GC2B and it is actually the half tank bind and this is a bind that I tend to wear when I'm being more lazy and more around the house mainly because it doesn't actually bind my hips because it is only a half bind and it doesn't really bind to my standards per se. I would much rather have a very tight bind when especially when I'm out in public and this one actually tends to ride up a little bit especially because I have a bigger chest so if you're a bigger chested guy you might want to opt away from the GC2B half binds their full binds might be amazing I wouldn't know I haven't had it this is the only GC2B one I have but as far as lounging around the house goes and wearing crop tops and stuff this is a great binder to use a lot of places when you buy binders and a lot of different sites and tips for trans guys will say to wear your binder only for six to eight hours a day I personally have found this tip to be a little bit ridiculous because I'm usually out and about and doing things and being on the internet on camera things where I need to be presentable for longer than that and I know my dysphoria kicks in really high especially when I'm around other people and don't have a binder on so I actually wear my binder for a really long time but you have to find what works for your body my body has not been affected wearing my binder for upwards of 14 hours a day but your body might be completely different from that and only can handle it for about six hours so please don't push your body. Once you find out how your body will take to the bind, please don't push it over whatever limit is set because you don't want to cause harm to yourself. My body is fine being bound for all aspects of my awake life, but yours might not be. So please make sure to pay attention to your body and do what your body is telling you to do because you don't want to get hurt. When you first get a bind, I would definitely recommend wearing it only six to eight hours a day as your body adjusts and as you see what works. When you take off your binder, I recommend giving a few good coughs and like hitting right here a little bit because it'll break up any fluid that might have settled within your lungs and it'll keep from chest pains in the future. I think that's all I have to talk about with binding. Just be safe. Please don't use ace bandages or duct tape or those cheap Amazon binders because they're not worth it and they will hurt you so please 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 do not use them. I really would only ever recommend GC2B and Underworks. They are great companies to buy from. And this is not sponsored. These are just companies that I have used in the past and found work really well and I think they're the only two like big binder companies so they are really good I know a lot of people that use them and that are very happy with the results so if you are in need of a binder their prices have gone down substantially within the last couple of years so they are a lot more affordable now so if you want to check those out the links to Underworks and GC2B will be in the description below that's all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy it make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have any different sources or tips for buying if you are someone who binds your chest just let us know below see if there's more things that I didn't touch on that I should have touched on let people know start a conversation in the comments if you want to keep up with me on a day-to-day -day basis you can follow me on all of my social media which is at the Riley Kyle on all platforms all of the links to every social media that I have is actually in the description but if you search the Riley Kyle on any of them that's gonna be me those are all the tips that I have for you guys today I hope this was at least a little bit helpful for you who are trying to bind your chest or looking into binding your chest so I really hope that this works and I love you guys and I will see you on Thursday okay bye